Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here from QBKing77.com and in my hand I have a Nexus 5 and it's running an updated version of Android Lollipop. It's on Android 5.1 now. Latest update as of today, March 9th. They finally rolling it out. Um, it's not over the air yet. I haven't seen any reports of it over the air. It should come out, I'm assuming, within the next few days over the air. However, factory images have been posted, so only for a few devices. I believe of the Nexus, as of right now, the Nexus 5, the next one of the Nexus 7s, and the Nexus 10 have factory images available to download, which is how I install it on this device. I didn't get it over the air yet. Um, I will keep everyone updated through social media. I might do videos as well, but um, I have links to the downloads to the factory images in the description along with a tutorial video accompanying all the downloads. So if you want to update your Nexus 5, your Nexus 7, your Nexus 10, all links will be in the description. Now before we get to the device and go really in depth, I want to talk about one little feature that I can't really show off. It's the dual SIM feature. So it brings dual SIM support which is nice for people that have, instead of having a work phone and a personal phone, now you'll see in this picture that uh, it has home and work. Um, it allows for dual support where you can choose which one to make the phone call from, and also you can change the color of the dialer uh, based on the SIM card you're using. So nice little touch. All right, so let's get a close hands-on with the Android 5.1 update. First of all, I want to go ahead and swipe down, go into settings. Scroll all the way down, go to About Phone, and you'll see Android version 5.1 right there, model number Nexus 5. This is official. The Easter egg did not change for those of you wondering. You'll see, press and hold, it brings you to the Android Flappy Bird. Now that's enough of that. Let's go ahead and go home. Now the first little change I want to talk about is the lock screen. So it's a very minor change actually, and to kind of give you a little comparison, I'm going to show you this on my Nexus 4 running Android 5.0 as, as opposed to Android 5.1. So um, when you swipe down from the top, you'll see it brings up your quick toggles right here. Now, when you swipe up from outside the quick toggles on your on Android 5.0, it takes you back to the lock screen. Now, if you do it on Android 5.1, it unlocks the phone. Now, if you do it within the quick settings, it just swipes them back up. So if you have notifications, it'll go right back to those notifications that are on the lock screen. But if you do it from outside that box, it actually unlocks the device. Now there's another device protection update actually. And uh, what's going to happen is if you report and your device stolen while it's on Android 5.1, it's going to remain locked until you sign into your Google account, which is a nice touch. I can't really find the security settings to actually activate it. Um, however, it's a nice feature if you actually lose your phone or it gets stolen. Another update is HD voice call actually when you're making phone calls. Now I believe you're going to have to have compatible hardware, so we're still waiting on the list for that. Uh, with I, I believe the Nexus 6 is compatible at the moment. HD voice call being I guess voice over LTE. Uh, hopefully Wi-Fi calling coming soon to the Nexus 6 as well. It didn't come with the 5.1 update. Alright, anyway, so let's talk about some other things. Now the volume rockers have changed. Um, at least just a little bit. So I know a lot of people have been a, kind of opposed, at least majority of you seem to be opposed to the priority none of uh, volume rockers as opposed to getting rid of silent mode. Now there's a little change where if you have an alarm set, which I make sure to, made sure to have one set, you can go to priority or none and you can have it set until next alarm, until your alarm goes off, even if you have none. Until next alarm, then it's going to shut off. So uh, that's just a little nice updated feature to the, I guess, the, the volume controls. Now going back to those quick settings right here, you can still use two fingers um, to swipe down and go to them. Now uh, in the quick settings, there's a couple updates to Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Now you'll see I'm neither on. I'm gonna, let's say, for example, turn Wi-Fi on, and I click that little arrow underneath, and it'll give a list of uh, Wi-Fi networks in the area. So kind of nice, you can switch quickly between them or search for them. Um, and same with Bluetooth. If you turn Bluetooth on, um, it'll say no paired devices available. You can go to more settings or select any paired device. I, don't, I haven't paired any devices yet, but nice you don't have to go into the settings app. You can do it all straight from your uh, pull down bar. Now a couple other changes in the quick settings. You'll see I have added a couple more. Hotspot and invert colors have been added. Now invert colors you can find in the accessibility settings at the bottom. You'll see color inversion is going to just kind of invert the colors there. And then obviously Wi-Fi hotspot in the Wi-Fi hotspot settings. But you'll see when you add them before you had to wait about 30 days for them to go away if you didn't use it. However now you can actually con can control it so you can press and hold on it and you can actually just quickly hide that specific shortcut, same with hotspot as well. So those two are customizable and you can get rid of them. 
And then one very minor quick little update within the quick settings to show you in comparison here's Android 5.0. When you press auto rotate and portrait, that's the animation. And now on Android 5.1, you'll see there's a little spinning animation. Another little animation that's been updated is within the clock application. So when I swipe between these, you'll see up top here, those little animations when I swipe through. Very subtle, but just nice little added animations to Lollipop. Now another thing that got updated was the screen pinning menu. So if I wanted to pin the screen in a specific application, you'll see screen is pinned. This keeps it in view until you unpin, touch and hold back and overview at the same time to unpin it. Just a little bit different, uh, just kind of makes it a little more obvious on how to do it. So you press and hold it and it says screen unpin. So just a little bit of an update. All right, and finally, one of the last things I want to talk about is the heads up notifications that do pop up when you get a notification, whether it be a Hangouts text, other various apps showing notifications. Now, before you could only swipe, swipe them away and completely dismiss it, or you could tap on it and go to the specific application. But now you can actually swipe up and it dismisses it, but it stays in the notification bar. To show this, I'm gonna go ahead and text myself. Okay, so here it is. You have to actually press on it and swipe up, but you'll see I swiped up and yet it's still there. So it's still in my notification tray by just swiping up on the heads up notification. Also, one final thing that might look different. I don't know if it is. If you press on this clear all, I don't know if that animation was there before. That little subtle animation that looks a little bit different to me. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's on 5.0 and, and 5.1 as well. Anyways, that's pretty much it. As far as speed goes, it feels pretty quick. It's been pretty smooth, actually. Um, it's supposed to be a lot quicker. Hopefully that holds true. Hopefully battery life is better as well. Um, and hopefully the memory leak's fixed. There's been a, just a memory leak that's been plaguing Lollipop, and it's been causing issues for some people, so hopefully that gets fixed as well. But anyways, let me know what you think. If you like the Android 5.1 Lollipop update, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to me as well. Lots more to come with 5.1 Lollipop and lots more with just Android in general. So stay tuned. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. All links in the description of the video below. And as always, guys, thank you very much for watching.